Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV. I have a lovely guest for all of you. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite people. I can't wait for her to reintroduce herself to all of you, first and last name and name of her business. Hello everyone, it's great to see you. I am Jacqueline DiGregorio and my company is called Clarity and Action Consulting. Oh, I love, okay. We're gonna take some action. We're gonna get clear. I want to, for those people out there that are not familiar with what you do, first of all, shame on you, but if you're not familiar with what she does, I want you to give her a perspective as to what type of work that you do. Yeah, so I am a life coach, motivational speaker, and author, and I'm most passionate about helping women believe that their dream life is possible for them and take the action steps that will make it happen. So I think it's that combination of, first of all, creating the vision. A lot of people don't even know what they want. But once they know what they want, so many people, they push under the rug because they feel like, well, Jacqueline might be able to have that, but I can't. Um, and so where I step in is kind of meet my clients where they are. Um, for some of them, it's the vision. For some of them, it's the self-belief and a lot of mindset work. And for some of them, it's really tangible and strategic action steps to get them closer. Some of my clients um, have businesses, have started new businesses. Some people have uh, started new passion projects, whether it be to become a speaker, write a book. Uh, some of my clients are trying to find their way in their career, have better self-care in their life. So a variety of things. But at the end of the day, the goal is what you really want for your life and making it happen and taking control of your life and not being a victim of your circumstances. Oh, I love that. You know, I love you. And I do, you know, think it's such one of those things where it's like, okay, I vision, I can tell that this is what I want, right? I can, I can say, I can dream up. This is what I want for my life. I can go to an event and I can create a vision board for what it is that I want in my life. But I think that the fact that you pair the clarity with the action is really where the magic happens. Because I think that so often we believe we know what we want, but then what are the steps necessary in order to make that a reality? And so do you walk, regardless of the stage of their lives, do you walk your clients through that process? Absolutely. So I feel confident in the system I've created to be able to create a plan of action and find a way to help my clients make it work and make it happen even if it's in an arena i've never touched so like i had a client come to me and said jacqueline i want to manufacture a product have you ever done that before i actually have but it was a failure so i so i was like no i haven't because it didn't work um and she's like can you help me do that and the first time I, I was like i don't know are you willing to try it with me and i learned that it's literally the same process whether you want to like I don't know, attract your dream partner or attract your dream business. It doesn't really matter. It's like the mindset behind failure and reaching your goals and taking steps. And I tend to attract a lot of clients who have, who want to do things I have done. So because I'm a motivational speaker, I have a lot of clients who want to be speakers because I've written a book. I have a lot of clients who want to write books because I own a business. I have a lot of clients who want to start a business or who own a business. Mm -hmm. um, and with those clients, I can tell them the steps that have worked for me, but regardless it's your journey and you are going to have to have your own failures and your own challenges. And so it's really like the mindset behind achieving goals. And so what I teach my clients is really this, um, like building blocks to the rest of their life for no matter what goal they want to achieve. So let's say you work with me for six months yeah. and I help you start your business, your dream yeah. business. You have this idea in your head for a long time and we work together and I help you start it. That's awesome. But then you can take those same building blocks right. of this is how you achieve a goal. This is how you map out a plan. This is how you take the action step. This is how you figure out what to do next. This is how you get back up after you fail. All these things. And now apply it to, okay, now I want to start a nonprofit for um, this issue that I'm really passionate about. And you can take the same steps. Now I want to become a better mom. You can actually take those same steps to achieve literally any goal. And I think that's where the magic happens in coaching, especially. Um, you learn building blocks and mindset shifts that really change all areas of your life. Um, mm -hmm. The way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So that's where I think uh, the real fun comes in with the action steps. No, I agree. And I agree. And I think that especially, especially if you deal primarily with women, there's so many different aspects of a woman's life, right? That she has to tackle. And if she gains those fundamentals and understanding of that mindset by working with you, she can tackle both her professional and her personal life using the same skill set. You mentioned a lot about failure. 
um, you know, and utilizing that word. And some people don't address that word at all. I loved how you embraced the word. Talk to me about how you walk your clients through the word failure and, and how they deal and tackle with it. Yeah. So I love this. So first thing I want to say is if you're listening to this and you know your vision, you're like, I want to have a business or I want to write a book or whatever your vision is and you haven't taken action on it yet. Yeah. I'm going to be uh, the, the, the bearer of bad news today and tell you that the reason is probably because you're afraid to fail. Yeah. Because if you fully believed in your heart that you were going to be successful, you would have already done it. Yeah. Right. Like even if you have to take out this huge loan um, and, you know, make a big risk for your family. Like if you fully believe with every fiber of your being that you're going to achieve that goal and not fail, yeah. then you would have already done it. Yeah. And so I think overcoming this fear of failure is literally the most pivotal thing. Cause again, if you can do it in one area of your life, you can do it in all areas of, of your life. And once you learn that failure is actually inevitable yeah. and once you begin to embrace it, you realize that, the only true failure is giving up. Like I fully believe that if you commit to your goals, yeah. it's impossible then to not achieve them. And somewhere along the way, you might have realizations, you might have breakthroughs, you might have a change in your path because of what you learned, but eventually you're going to get to where you want to be simply by continuing to keep going. So what I really teach around failure is that it is a blessing. And so the only reason that we see it as a bad thing is our interpretation of it. I have adapted the belief and I teach my clients to adopt the same belief that the universe or God or whatever you believe in is always looking out for you and everything's happening in your favor. So let's say you tell me, Jacqueline, um, you know, I really want to write a book and I'm going to try to land this um, book agent, just say, yeah. and, and you reach out to these people and every person denies you and it's not working. Yeah. And you're like, what the heck? Like, it's not working. Like, I fully believe that that is doing you a favor. Why? Well, maybe you're about to have a pivotal moment in your life three months later. And yeah only this higher power can see that. I don't know. You don't know. And you're going to have this crazy moment. Maybe, um, you know, something happens in your life where you have this massive awakening yeah. and that's what your number one best-selling book is going to be about, but you couldn't have written it if you already landed the agent three months prior. And so the universe was like, Nope, we can't give her this yet. We got to push this off. And so if you can fully embrace this belief that every failure is either a lesson or a redirection and it's always serving you. It's, it's not only in your highest good, but I believe it's in the highest good for all human beings. We're all one. That's the law of oneness. And so I truly believe that like, if that's happening, like let's say you're a coach and you don't get a certain client. I always tell myself like, wow, that was in her highest good and my highest good for us not to work together. Maybe yeah. there's someone who energetically she vibes with more and maybe it wasn't me and that's okay. Yeah. And so it's really changing what you think failure means. Yeah. And when you don't associate it with this negative connotation, you welcome it. And when you welcome it, you actually experience less failure because you learn the lessons you need to learn faster and you achieve your goals faster. So it's a really powerful thing. Uh, if you can start to work on what you're making failure mean about you. Yeah. And if you can realize that if you haven't taken action yet, it's probably this fear. And so that's the best place to start. Oh, I absolutely love that. It's redefining the word failure in order for it to really truly serve you. I absolutely love this. I want people to get connected with you, my darling. I am already obsessed with you. I know more people will be obsessed with you as well. I want more people to know of you today than yesterday. So where can they get in touch with you if they want to follow fan and like you? Yeah. So I am Jacqueline DiGregorio on Facebook and Instagram. If you like podcasts, my podcast is called the Spark Your Light Podcast. And if you want to check out my website, learn how to go deeper with me, learn about my coaching opportunities, you can go to JacquelineDiGregorio.com. I absolutely love this. And you also have a book, right, my love? Yes. So a great place to start is my book. It's called Stop Getting in Your Own Way. I specifically wrote it for aspiring entrepreneurs or business owners who really want to up-level their mindset and their habits so that they can step into their dream business. I love. Okay, so you must follow Fan and like, my friend. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, so wonderful. I'm so excited to continue working with Jacqueline. She's absolutely wonderful. You will love her. I already do. From all of us here at This Is It TV, I'm Cheldon Barlett Rumor, and we will see you soon. Take care.